Okay, we are ready to get started. I believe all of our attendees uh, have signed on. Good evening, my name is Ms. Powers. I am the Director of Recruitment and Community Engagement for Crystal Ray Atlanta Jesuit High School. And I wanna welcome each one of you to this session tonight. We are so glad that you have joined us. Uh, we have a group here tonight that are uh, going to welcome you in their own special way. We are so glad that you are now part of the Crystal Ray family. And we want to make sure you know how important you are to us. So tonight we have several people that will be welcoming you personally. We have Ms. Camille Naughton, our incoming president. We have Mr. Tony Harris, our incoming principal. We have Ms. Marcia Pecco, our Dean of Students. Let me change that, Dr. Marcia Pecco, our Dean of Students. And we have Mr. David O'Shea, our Director of Corporate Work Study. Of course, along with me, we have Ms. Anna McQuilkin, who will also answer your questions about uniforms and any outstanding paperwork. But we also have some other members of the Crystal Ray community that could not be with us tonight that, to welcome you personally. So we have a short video that we would like for you all to uh, view and have an opportunity to hear from some of the other members of the Crystal Ray community in a very special way. So sit back, enjoy, relax, and hear from Crystal Ray Atlanta Jesuit High School community. Class of 2024, we welcome you and your families to Cristo Rey. You are now a part of our family. Our family consists of teachers and faculty and staff that are ready to make sure that you succeed here at Cristo Rey. It also includes alumni, their parents, corporate work study partners, mentors, and supporters from the community, all of whom are here to help you and make sure that you succeed when you join the Cristo Rey family. So from all of us, welcome, and we are thrilled to have you. Class of 2024, we're praying for you, and we can't wait for you to join the Crystal Ray Atlanta Jesuit family. See you soon. Welcome, Crystal Ray Atlanta Jesuit High School, class of 2024. We can't wait to meet you. Go Flames! Welcome, class of 2024. Sean todos bienvenidos a ser parte de la familia Crystal Ray Atlanta. Hello, I am Kirby, the dog of Mrs. English in the Development Department. Welcome to the Crystal Ray Atlanta family, class of 2024. Viva Crystal Ray! Good morning, welcome to Crystal Ray. My name is Mr. Dudek, I teach computer science, and we're very excited to have you join the Crystal Ray family. Welcome class of 2024. Welcome class of 2024 to our Crystal Ray family. You're in for a great adventure. The people you'll meet, the places you'll see, the things that you'll accomplish, the relationships that you'll develop with God and then with others. It's going to be a fantastic time. We look forward to having you here at Crystal Ray. Welcome to Crystal Ray. You're going to have a great time. Welcome, class of 2024, to Crystal Ray. Bienvenidos, class of 2024, Crystal Ray. See you soon. Hey, Crystal Ray, Atlanta Jesuit High School, class of 2024. Uh, my name is Mr. Moore. I teach 12th grade government and economics. I'm on the third floor. Just want to say welcome to Crystal Ray. We are literally so excited to see you. Uh, for things to get back to normal. Can't wait to meet each and every one of you, and I expect you to stop by the third floor to say hello. Welcome, everyone. We can't wait to meet you. Hi, my name is Miss Powers. 
And I want to welcome you to Crystal Ray. On behalf of the Office of Recruitment and Community Engagement, along with admissions, we are so glad you have chosen Crystal Ray Atlanta Jesuit High School as the place to be. We can't wait to welcome you personally. But in the meantime, this is your place to be. And we welcome you as the class of 2024. <laughs> especially looking forward to meeting you on campus. Please take care. So just a little welcome from the many members that make up the community of Crystal Ray. And so now we're going to begin uh, to allow you to hear from those who are sharing in this orientation with us tonight. But before that, I do want to present another very important part of the Crystal, in, member of the Crystal Ray family, Ms. Vivian Trujillo, who is going to be doing our translation uh, because unfortunately most of us speak one language, which is English, and Vivian has been so gracious as to help us out. So we're, without further ado, we're going to move into our presentations. And the first person you will hear from, of course the first person, will be our incoming president, Ms. Camille Naughton. Thank you, Ms. Powers. Welcome, everybody. As you can see from the video, we're really excited to have you. Um, you have made an excellent decision in coming to Crystal Ray Atlanta Jesuit High School um, for a number of reasons. Uh, there are 37 Crystal Ray schools in the country, and we are always number one in every single data point. So we like to pride ourselves on being the very best of all Crystal Rays. So you have selected well. 100% um, of our students are accepted into college every year, and that is our promise to you. You have to put the work in, but we are here to support you to make sure that you have the option to go to a college. And many of our students end up going to very highly selective colleges. We work with your family to make sure that you are um, accessing as many scholarship dollars as you possibly can. One of the most unique things about a Crystal Ray school is the fact that you will be working in a corporate internship every year that you are with us. And that corporate internship is going to make you look very different than your peers. And that is why colleges find Crystal Ray students so attractive. When you graduate, you are going to have four years of corporate experience and you are going to be as experienced as most students that are coming out of maybe their second or third year of college. So we want to work with you on that. Um, Mr. O'Shea will speak about that. He runs the corporate work study program. He'll speak more at length, but we are different than other schools because of that. And that is our magic. So we are excited to work with you and your parents. This is a partnership. This is not easy, but if you put in the work, you are going to have a future that it looks very different than the people that you are friends with now. So I want you to invest that time, trust us, work with us, partner with us, and your future will be very bright. And Ms. Trujillo, I am so sorry I said so much because now you get to translate all of that. So you're on. Um. Nada más le queremos decir que bienvenidos a Cristo Rey. Estamos, como ven, muy, um, muy felices de que van a estar con nosotros estos cuatro años. Uh, esta escuela es muy difícil, pero a la vez um, va a ver que va, va a tener muchos beneficios. Su estudiante va, va a poder in, ingresarse a lo que es el mundo del trabajo. Entonces, eso a los colegios o las universidades, eso lo pone a su estudiante aparte de los restos de los estudiantes que están aplicando. Estamos otra vez muy felices de que estén ustedes con nosotros. Vamos a hacer, siempre somos número uno en todo lo que hacemos. Ya sabe que tenemos 37, 37 escuelas, entonces siempre estamos trabajando para que nuestros estudiantes sean el número uno. Ok, 
Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Naughton, and thank you, for Ms. Trujillo, for that translation. Um, now we're going to hear from Mr. Harris. Our incoming principal is going to greet you. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, parents and students. Uh, as you just heard, I am also in my first year. I am uh, Mr. Harris, and I'm the incoming principal at, at Cristo Rey. So we're going to be freshmen together in this first year. Um, I'm very excited to join the Cristo Rey community, and I look forward to seeing and, and beginning the year with you. Now, these are, these are difficult times, and they're very different. Um, our first priority, of course, is always the safety of, um, of our students and of our faculty, of the adult community, everyone there in our building. Um, we want this to be a positive experience for your child and for you, and one that um, allows your student to grow in uh, his or her faith and in, and in confidence. Entonces, bienvenido, estudiantes y parientes. Me llamo Señor Harris, Principal Cristo Rey. Primero, quizás necesito decir que han pasado muchos años desde que tuve que, que usar mi español. Así que quizás podría sonar como un, un niño de, de, de cinco años, pero mejoraré. Este será mi primer año a Cristo Rey. Este año nosotros somos estudiantes de primer año juntos. Estoy emocionado unir con la comunidad Cristo Rey. Y sabemos que también que estos son, son tiempos difíciles. Pero nuestra primer prioridad, nuestra primer preocupación es la seguridad de sus, sus estudiantes, sus, sus hijos, sus hijas. Queremos que este año sea una experiencia positiva y un que se permita a su, su estudiante crecer en su fe y su um, confianza. Viva Cristo Rey. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Harris, for that great welcome. And as you see, we're getting a, a shining star in Mr. Harris. He's in the process of relocating to Atlanta. And so we're just excited about what is going to happen next year under his leadership. Uh, so at this time, uh, this is a very important person that you will interact a lot with, hopefully only for good reasons. Uh, so now I will turn it over to Dr. Pecco, who is our Dean of Students. Okay. First, I'd like to say welcome to our school family. <clears throat> I feel that you have definitely made the right decision because we're a school that has extremely high expectations for students regarding behavior, academics, and character development. We really encourage a positive school environment, um, and that is really key for the growth and development for any child. We encourage a high level of respect and an environment for um, learning. Uh, your students can come to our school and simply learn, and in a lot of, I know, public schools now, that's a great challenge. So your students are consistently encouraged to strive to do their best, demonstrate a professional demeanor, and all of this is in preparation for college. Um, I really, even though I'm Dean, I can't wait to meet all of you, um, including the parents, and work together to, with your students and the families to help you grow here at Cristo Rey. I'm excited to meet all of you. Bienvenidos a nuestra escuela. Uh, aquí vamos a apoyar a todos los estudiantes positivamente porque queremos una escuela que tenga respeto y que quiera aprender. Vamos a empujarles para que ellos puedan ser lo mejor profesionalmente y también académicamente. Eh, espero conocerlos a todos, no solamente a los estudiantes, pero a las familias también, para que ustedes puedan crecer aquí en Cristo Rey. Thank you, Dr. Pecco. Uh, at this time, we're going to hear from Mr. David O'Shea. Mr. David O'Shea heads up our corporate work study department, which is a very critical component to the whole nuance of Crystal Ray. It's what we say is part of our special sauce 
that makes us unique and uh, comparing us to other high school experiences. Uh, and he's going to share his insight. And I know many of you had some questions about uh, corporate work study, and we uh, he will cover those either in his presentation or we will address those at the end. All right, thank you, Ms. Powers. Um, on behalf of the Corporate Work Study Department, I'm, I'm delighted to welcome everybody to, uh, to Christo Ray uh, and excited for everybody as they begin their, their corporate experience. Like Ms. Powers said, it is, uh, it's a unique part of the, uh, of the school and, and unique compared to any other high school experience. And Ms. Norton already mentioned a little bit about it in her opening remarks, but really the, the corporate work study experience allows for so many different things from job experience, uh, growth in confidence, uh, growth in maturity. I've had the opportunity to work in a number of different educational environments and I, I, I see that the um, acceleration of student maturity and growth um, take place in, in Crystal Ray mainly because of what they experience while, at their, while in their job. Uh, also gives students the opportunity to really take ownership over their own high school experience. Uh, and that's something that very few high school students can really, can really say. And that's also something that you will really begin to appreciate um, throughout your time at Cristo Rey. Um, anyone that has any family or friends or knows anyone who's graduated from Cristo Rey will know um, what it gives, the opportunity that it gives to um, students in college. Many of the returning students uh, Will, will let us know that the one thing that allows them to stand out more than anyone else while at college is the fact that they had a corporate experience. They can present in front of other people, uh, they can interact with their professors, they can manage their workload, uh, and these are traits and uh, the, the, these are all um, things that they learn during their corporate, uh, corporate experience. Um, opens many doors. Ms. Norton mentioned about the valuable resume. Uh, leaving Cristo Rey, students will have a resume that have some of the most globally recognized companies um, that again open doors to uh, open doors to some terrific colleges and also provides a network for future employment. Um, we're already starting to see many of our students, uh, college students now that are interning with companies that they worked at um, during their internship at, at Cristo Rey. Um, it's not something, it can be a daunting experience, it's not something that you will do on your own. Um, you'll be guided through it. Freshman Academy and Business Training Institute will give you everything you need to know to go out to work. Um, you'll have a relationship manager that will work through with you. Um, and also um, understand that it's part of academics. This is a class that you will need to pass. The expectations of corporate work study are exactly the same as the academic expectations um, of everything at Cristo Rey. Also recognize that it's important um, to, uh, to, to put in, uh, what you put into the corporate work study experience is exactly what you'll get out. You need to embrace it. And if you embrace it, you will find that the opportunities that you have are endless. Uh, it can open many, many doors for you. Um, I, I do understand and recognize that there are some, uh, there are some concerns um, uh, there are concerns about what the fall might look like um, because of the, the current circumstances. Um, but I can, uh, I can assure you that we as a department are um, doing everything we possibly can to make sure that we provide a, a safe and healthy corporate work study experience without diminishing the benefits. Uh, so I look forward to meeting everybody in Freshman Academy. I look forward to everything that you can uh, offer to Crystal Ray and to our corporate partners. De parte de Corporate Work Study uh, de Cristo Rey, estamos emocionadas para, el, para empezar el nuevo año con ustedes. Corporate Work Study es una experiencia de trabajo, también um, es el trabajo de confianza y también de uh, crecer. No muchos de los estudiantes tienen la oportunidad de estar exper experimentando afuera en, los, um, en las compañías de Atlanta. Uh, ellos tienen un resumen, un resumen que es reconocible para muchos porque ellos tienen experiencia durante esos cuatro años. No lo van a hacer solos, van a tener guías, van a tener personas que, que los van a ayudar durante las dos semanas de Freshman Academy. Uh, 
Um, si no ponen el trabajo, si no hacen el trabajo, entonces um, posiblemente no tengan la experiencia o la esa educación que les estamos ofreciendo. Entonces, esta oportunidad abre muchas puertas para los estudiantes y va es, es algo que les va a ayudar cuando ellos entren al mundo de trabajo. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. O'Shea, for sharing with us on corporate work study. Uh, before we move to uh, uniforms and paperwork, I know everyone has a lot of questions about the impact of COVID-19 on the school operation. So I'm going to ask Ms. Naughton to speak to that. And Ms. Trujillo, will you just translate what I've said? Ahorita va a hablar a uh, nuestra presidenta que va a entrar. Ella va a hablar de cómo vamos a abrir la escuela este año. Um, y usted ya le va a poder responder las preguntas que usted las tenga. Ms. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Um, so COVID-19, obviously all of your children have been home. All of you students have been home since March, probably working virtually on your classwork. And, Chris Ray did the same. We closed on Friday, March 13th. We are in the planning process right now to reopen for in-person instruction starting in July for our incoming freshman class. The idea is that we would start on the 27th of July with Freshman Academy, which will just mean that there are only freshmen in the school building for two weeks. That certainly is gonna help us with social distancing. We are working as a um, senior staff right now, working through every aspect of the CDC and the um, state and local government ordinances to make sure that we can op open safely. We know that students work or learn better in person. So our intent is to have in-person instruction, but it will probably have to be a blended learning process because we probably cannot have 525 students in the classroom at each time. So I will be sending a letter out to all current parents tomorrow, updating them. Um, and then next, um, I'm going to send something out to all of the freshman incoming um, parents as well. This is fluid that we are, we are, we have no real decisions as of right now, except for it looks like our start date is going to be the 27th of July. But we will, as we know more, we will continue to stay in contact with you to let you know um, how we're going to be able to keep you safe. Um, so that's where we are. Feel, feel free to add questions to that. And Mr. Harris, did you have something that you wanted to add? Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> so Ms. Trujillo, can you go ahead and, and um, translate that for our parents? So, hemos estado cerrados desde el 13 de marzo. Estamos planeando con el proceso de abrir de nuevo. Ahorita en la fecha que vamos a abrir va a ser el 27 de julio para todos los uh, estudiantes que van a ingresar. Uh, estamos tratando de seguir las reglas que nos da el gobierno y para poder volver a estar frente a frente con los estudiantes. Va a haber una carta que va a mandar la Presidenta Camille, uh, Ms. Naughton, perdón, para todos los papás que, para todas las familias que, que tienen estudiantes y para todas las familias que va a entrar a su estudiante a Cristo Rey. No hemos hecho ninguna decisión realmente, solamente estamos siguiendo a cómo nos están informando, pero cualquier cosa nosotros vamos a estar en comunicación con ustedes. Um, let me ask a few questions that or answer a few questions that have popped up on the on the um, chat. There was a question if if um, masks would be mandatory, and I believe that they will be. I think that's going to be a state regulation amongst all schools. Um, Mr. Hugh, you want to do that one first, and then I'll go on. Ms. Zahn, can you repeat that, please? 
Sure. So the question was, will masks be required? And I believe that they will be. And I think that will be actually a state mandated regulation for all students in schools over a certain age. Okay, so la pregunta fue que si las máscaras van a ser obligatorias para cuando entremos a la escuela. La, res la respuesta es que sí. Uh, esto va, es una regla de que están por estado, entonces sí vamos a eh, seguir esa regla y todos van a, van a tener que usar máscaras, mascarillas. Okay. Okay, thank you. Wanna... Yeah, thank you all so much for uh, your questions. Uh, thank you, Ms. Naughton, for that clarification on, on what our status is in pertaining to COVID-19. Um, and please, uh, attendees, students, and parents, please put your questions in the q and I see a lot of them there. We're up to about 12 questions. And we are going to hear from our last presenter, and then we're going to fill all of your questions. We will answer every one of them uh, before we leave here, this, uh, before we leave this session. Vivian, translate. Por favor, espérese. Vamos, tenemos una persona más que tiene que hablar y ya después de esto vamos a movernos a lo que es las preguntas. And now you will hear from Miss Anna McQuilkin. Many of you have already uh, familiar with her in submitting your paperwork. She's going to address the many questions that many of you had about uniform and about outstanding paperwork. Miss Anna? Welcome everybody, students and parents. Um, so a couple of things, um, uh, paperwork. Um, I am gonna send out emails individually for anybody who is missing anything. Um, I'm working on that right now. Um, by the end of next week, I should be done sending out the emails. If you do not receive an email that you're missing something, that means that I have everything that I need from you to begin the school year. Um, bienvenidos a los estudiantes y los padres. Eh, le, una de las cosas eh, que tenemos muchas preguntas es sobre los documentos uh, que faltan. Eh, yo estoy en este momento uh, chequeando qué es lo que falta y le voy a mandar correo electrónico a todas las familias si le falta algo, si no le falta algo, yo no, no van a recibir una, un correo electrónico. Y espero terminar con esto uh, la semana que viene. Um, another thing that we need to complete your um, acceptance is we need you to email us your final report card. As soon as you get that from your school, please send us an email. Um, if you don't have a way to email, uh, to, to scan, go ahead and take a picture with your phone. Um, we are not in the office right now, so um, it's a lot easier dealing with everything through email. Una de las cosas que necesitamos de todos los estudiantes es eh, las calificaciones finales de su octavo grado. Uh, enseguida que reciban esas calificaciones, necesitamos que nos manden eso por correo electrónico. Si no tienen escan para escanear, pueden sacarle una foto y mandarla por correo electrónico. Nosotros no estamos en el edificio en estos momentos, so toda la comunicación es mucho más fácil por correo electrónico. Another thing that um, uniforms is another question that has come up. Um, I will be sending out an email this either tomorrow or Friday, with all the flyers and all that information, with a price guide and everything. The uniform stores is closed right now uh, for the public, but you can order online, you can order by phone, um, and in the information that I'm gonna send you, it also has guides of how to measure for sizing and things like that. Since the store is closed, they're actually doing free shipping. If you do not feel comfortable with it being shipped to your home, um, you can also have it where you can pick up at the store. Uh, la compañía de uniformes en estos momentos están cerrados, pero están haciendo las órdenes uh, por teléfono o en línea. Eh, yo le voy a mandar un correo electrónico con toda la información, 
los detalles de los uniformes, los precios, uh, mañana o el viernes, lo más tardar. Uh, ellos como no están abiertos, todo lo que es el, uh, el costo de mandarlo por correo, ellos lo van a, a, a pagar eso. Y también si ustedes no quieren uh, que se lo envíen a la casa, eh, pueden hacer que, que sea para recoger en la tienda. Pero no pueden entrar a la tienda para probarse nada. Eh, también en la información que yo lo voy a mandar, va a tener información sobre cómo tomar las medidas para saber qué tallas um, los estudiantes uh, necesitan. Eh, so todo eso va a ir en correo electrónico. Um, la, okay. Now, transportation. We've had a lot of um, the parents questioning about transportation. Um, parents, you are responsible for transportation to and from school. We will take care of the transportation to and from work, but you are responsible to get your students to and from school. We do sell MARTA cards and we sell them at a discount. They're $15.40 and that gives you 10 rides. Usually the rides are $2.50 per ride. This brings it to about $1.50 per ride. Um, and we sell those usually on Mondays and Thursdays in the morning um, every week. Eh, una de las cosas que estaban preguntando también era transportación. Eh, los padres están eh, responsables por uh, la transportación al colegio y del colegio para la casa. Eh, nosotros nos tomamos la responsabilidad de, para llevarlos al trabajo y regresar del trabajo. Eh, nosotros vendemos las tarjetas de Marta a un descuento. Eh, son 15 dólares y 40 centavos for 10 uh, rides um, y um, las vendemos todos los lunes y jueves por la mañana en la cafetería. Um, and that is it for me for right now. Eso es todo para mí por ahora. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. McQuilkin. And uh, you answered many of the questions that have been put in the Q&A and that was submitted earlier about uniforms. So now we're gonna go to our Q&A. And so if everyone would, uh, all of my panelists are now uh, unmuted. And so if there is a question that um, applies to your area, feel free to answer it. Uh, so we're going to start with some of the questions that came in as you were doing presentations. I can address this one. They want to know how many incoming freshmen. Uh, we are planning for a class of 140 freshmen. And so that is our projected class size for this year. Uh, Ms. Naughton, for you, I believe uh, there was a question. They wanted further explanation on blended learning. Okay. Um... And Mr. Harris, you can jump in here too. Um, but blended learning is basically two different kinds where some of it would be online and some of it would be in person. And it's just a way that we would be able to have fewer students in the, um, in the school building. There's a, most schools are gonna go to that where maybe one day a week your student is actually virtually learning from home. And then they would have then be in, in the school the other days. So, but we are not finalized with that schedule yet. It's probably, I'm sorry, Mr. Hill, go ahead. Thank you. Um, so, para la primera respuesta fue cuántos, va, cuántos estudiantes van a ingresar al Cristo Rey para el año que viene. Uh, y la señora Powers dijo que 140 estudiantes van a ingresar este, um, este año. También la segunda pregunta que la respondió la señora, la presidenta Naughton fue que qué es blended learning. Esto es algo donde los estudiantes van a ir a la escuela en persona, pero también probablemente de eso puedan tener clases um, por computadora, virtuales. Entonces, no es un, no, no está finalizado nada, pero eso, uh, eso es lo que significa lo que es blended learning. And the only thing that I would add to that is that um, we are working on that plan. Estamos trabajando en esto ahora. It's probably not much different than what students have done this school year. 
um, quizás no es diferente um, que lo que estás um, estudiando ahora en, en, en sus escuelas. Trabajando en casa con computadores, trabajando um, a veces en la escuela. Okay. Uh, the next question, uh, also probably going to Ms. Naughton, and it's a two-part question. I'm combining some of the questions. Uh, many of our students come, do not come from a private school background. So there's a question in here, what is the significance of the president? <laughs> and um, also, is Crystal Ray accredited? Um, Ms. Trujillo, do you want to maybe translate the question first and then I'll answer? Uh, la pregunta fue, ¿qué es el significado de una presidenta? ¿Y cómo está acreditada la escuela? Okay, I'll answer the, the easy one first is, yes, we are accredited. We are accredited to the Southern um, Association of Independent Schools. Sí, estamos um, accredited. Estamos uh, con las demás escuelas. Um, and then the president, we, our school is at what we call a president principal model. So Mr. Harris and I are a team and I run the business side of the school and he runs the academic side of the school. Um, in schools where there's only a principal, they have to do both. And we think it works best to split the two so that he can focus completely on the students and I'll focus completely on fundraising and finances and running the corporate work study program and things like that. El significado de lo que es el presidente y el director um, modela, por ejemplo, la presidenta se encarga de todo lo que son los negocios de la escuela y la direct el director se va a encargar de todo lo académico. En una escuela regular, una directora se encarga de las dos cosas, lo que es um, el, el lado académico y también lo que es el lado profesional o um, de la escuela. Entonces, en, este, en esta situación, ellas trabajan como un equipo. Okay. Uh, I believe this is for you, Mr. O'Shea. Uh, it's two questions I'm combining. Uh, the first question is, how will the corporate work study program be administered in the fall? And are we involved in picking our work study internships? Vivian? La pregunta es, ¿cómo corporate work study va a administrarse en el otoño? Okay, so uh, to answer the, the uh, the first part of the question about how it's going to look at the, look in the fall. Um, we, we've put together a number of different plans uh, dependent on um, the, the corporate partners. Corporate partners are going to be different. Um, some may be, some may have returned, some may not. Um, and that's something that we won't really know until a little bit later on in the year. Um, we expect to go forward the same way that we normally would, where we're sending all students out to work. In the event we can't do that, we're going to look into um, some form of remote work where we can have um, students working virtually. So we're working with partners for that. Um, but we do anticipate that we'll be able to operate in the same way that we normally do um, with the expectation that we've got some contingency plans to work around um, as we work with, with companies. Regarding the placements, um, that we take into the account of the, the skills and interests of students. Typically with freshmen, they don't really get as much choice as everyone else um, with, when placing them into, into their companies. We do like to, like to guarantee that throughout the four years, one of the experiences will be something that you are interested in um, as far as a career. Um, during Freshman Academy, as we get to know students, uh, as we learn a little bit more about them, then we can use that knowledge uh, and try and place them in something that, uh, that, that works, well, works well with them. So again, to answer the question, as, as freshmen, um, there, there isn't a, a great uh, amount of, uh, of say that they have in their placements, but that will change as they, uh, as they uh, go through their, their Christo Ray career. Okay. 
So, empezando el año, los del grado nuevo no tienen mucha oportunidad de decir o escoger su trabajo. Este, llegando el otoño, estamos planeando en que todos, todos se vayan a trabajar. Um, también, you know, seam, ten, seamos realistas y uh, sabemos que a lo mejor vaya a haber algunos problemas. Um, y si eso pasa, entonces vamos a tener un plan donde ellos pueden um, hacer su trabajo uh, no en la compañía. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. O'Shea. And so let's see what our other questions we have here. Uh, Dr. Pecco, could you help answer some of the questions about uh, the school schedule? What time school starts? What time school ends? Uh, will there be any changes in school hours? Um. Um, as far as I know, students have to be in class in their house by 725. Um, that's very important bonding time, attendance, and um, really to get the students settled for the school day. Uh, so 725, they would need to be in their first classroom. So that means that they need to be at school before 720 or at least by 720 so they're able to visit their lockers and go upstairs to their classes. What that looks like for the new year, I don't know yet as far as um, lockers, if we will have those or what's going to happen with the COVID-19 situation. I should know more information shortly to be able to provide, but 725, yes, they need to be sitting in their desks uh, ready for house and the school day ends at 4 p.m. Okay. La pregunta fue que a qué hora van a entrar los estudiantes y a qué horas van a salir. Por ahorita, clase todavía va a empezar a las 7.25. Tienen que estar en su clase um, a las 7.20 y va a terminar la escuela a las 4. Nada ha cambiado. Uh, si algo cambia, entonces la doctora Peco uh, les va a informar. Yeah, and just to add, um, Sometimes students will miscommunicate that house is just a place like a homeroom to check in. Um, typically, a lot of announcements are made during that time. Prayer happens during that time. Um, teachers send announcements, especially by email during that time. It's a good time for students to check email and uh, bond with their classmates for the school day. So it's a, it's a really important time to not miss for students. Um, that 10 minutes before class starts. A veces los estudiantes les pueden decir que house no es una clase que tienen que tomar o tienen que ir, pero eso no, uh, no es así. Tienen que estar ahí porque a veces se dan anuncios muy importantes durante lo que es house. Uh, sea, pues se pueden checar el correo electrónico o, y también rezan uh, para, para empezar su día. Okay, thank you, Dr. Pecco. Uh, going back to uh, corporate work study, Mr. O'Shea, there are some questions about uh, what do they need to bring on the first day of Freshman Academy, and when will they complete their I-9 I documents and forms? Uh, I think those go sort of hand in hand, if you want to speak to that. Uh, Vivian, would you like to? Yes. So la pregunta es, ¿qué necesitan traer para el empiezo de Freshman Academy, uh, las dos semanas donde los estudiantes de grado 9 van a empezar? ¿Y cuándo tiene que entregar lo que es el I-9, la forma del I-9? All right, so, so for Freshman Academy, really just uh, regular su supplies, pen and a pencil and a notebook uh, and a good attitude. Um, and as far as the I-9 form goes, the I-9 form will be due by the end of Freshman Academy. It will be part of uh, the successful completion of Freshman Academy. The I-9 form needs to be uh, fully completed. That's because we will try and look in over the summer of finding other ways for people to turn I-9 forms in. But part of the I-9 form includes us being able to see certain documents. Um, so if we can't do that throughout the summer, then we'll do it during Freshman Academy. But the deadline for the I-9 forms will be the end of Freshman Academy. So lo que van a ocupar los estudiantes es um, lo que es un lapicero o papel que traigan y una buena actitud. 
uh, se van a entregar los formas de I-9 después de las dos semanas de Freshman Academy. Uh, están tratando de ver diferentes maneras en, en donde las familias pueden entregar esa forma, pero por ahorita van a estar, um, tienen que ser entregadas las, después de las dos semanas de Freshman Academy. Uh, Mr. O'Shea, they want to know what kind of documents are required for I-9. What should they bring? La pregunta um, es, ¿cuáles documentos, documentos son requeridos para entregar el I-9? Uh, it's um, with the I-9, um, uh, it's the social security, a social security card must be seen um, and a passport. Esos documentos son la carta de seguro social o el pasaporte. And I believe it can be any picture ID, like it can be an, any government issued picture ID, it doesn't have, if you don't have a passport. O también se puede dar lo que es una identificación. No tiene que ser pasaporte. And in many, in most instances, we default to their school ID for that, that we provide to them. En muchos instantes, um, también agarramos lo que es la escuela, la identificación de la escuela. All right. Um, I think you answered this, Mr. O'Shea. Somebody asked, what is an I-9 form? Mm -hmm. Okay, that was answered. Okay. Um, here are some questions regarding class schedules. Uh, maybe Dr. Pecco in combination with Mr. Harris and Ms. Naughton can answer these. They want to know um, how long are the classes? What is house? Is Crystal Ray part of the Archdiocese of Atlanta? Do you have why don't we why don't we do one at a time? Because then Ms. Trujillo can can okay. um can and I think the house one we've answered. So if you want to ask, the, and then Ms. Trujillo, if you want to translate. So the first question was class schedules. How long is a class? How long is a class? Okay, so la primera pregunta fue, ¿qué, qué tanto dura una clase? 50 minutes? 50 minutos. Okay. Do we have a block schedule? Si tienen un horario que, que es block? No, we do not. We have a waterfall schedules right now. And some of this is going to change next year because we are going to be figuring out how to do that blended instruction. So right now we do not have a block schedule. Ahorita no tienen una block schedule, uh, pero eso puede cambiar. The Archdiocese in question? Yes. Is Crystal Ray part of the Archdiocese of Atlanta? La pregunta es si somos parte de la arquidiócesis. Um, we, Crystal Ray Atlanta Judgment is a, is a Catholic school within the Archdiocese of Atlanta, but it is not an Archdiocesan school. It is a private Catholic school like Marist. Mm -hmm. So, somos una escuela católica parte de la arquidiócesis, pero no somos. Um, um, Anna, can you help me with this one? Sí, no somos una escuela de la arquidiócesis, pero sí tenemos que uh, tomar ciertas reglas de la arquidiócesis que tenemos que seguir. Um, Eh, somos como el Colegio Marista, uh, igualito que ellos. Okay, we have a couple more questions that we're going to take, and then some of the questions uh, we will respond to them in email. We'll put them on a uh, frequently asked question document and send it out to the parents in English and Spanish. Will you translate the email? So, preguntas que no están respondido, vamos a hacer un correo electrónico donde van a estar todas las preguntas que, uh, que, que ustedes tengan y van a ser contestadas por nosotros y eso lo van a mandar por correo electrónico. So, the two questions, uh, two areas we're going to address before we wrap up for this evening. Uh, a lot of questions about MARTA cards. Ms. Uh, Milquilkin, can you address that? Uh, well, I already addressed it um, earlier. We do sell MARTA cards every Monday 
and Thursday morning in the school cafeteria, it's $15 and 40 cents. Um, so si sí vendemos las cartas de Marta en la cafetería todos los lunes y jueves uh, por la mañana. There's a couple of other questions that I saw that are pretty pertinent. Um, they're on the chat, not on the question and answer. Uh, they want to know what, how, what hours the school is open. Um, yeah, I was going to cover those at the end. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. But I really wanted uh, a lot of questions still coming in about COVID-19, and I know that's important. Uh, some of them want to know, will COVID-19 testing be mandatory for the students? Um, will COVID-19 impact what we do for uh, our sports activities? And will we still do corporate work study with COVID-19? So, Ms. Trujillo, do you want to translate that and then I'll try to answer all of those. Okay. Ms. Powers, could you repeat the first question, please? Uh, the first question is, will COVID-19 testing be mandatory? La primera pregunta fue si van a ver uh, test o examen para lo que es el COVID-19. The second one was, will... Let me answer that first and let her translate. So the answer to that is we don't know. And I hate to say that, but um, right now we're not... There's a lot of legality to this. Um, we will, we are right now planning to do temperature tests every day. When the students come in, ask them if they have any symptoms and do temperature tests and require PPE. That is what we're, we're planning to do right now. We are not yet planning to do testing of everybody because you kind of need to do that every week. So, ahorita desafortunadamente no sabemos, estamos en el proceso de planear lo que vamos a hacer. Lo que sí está en, uh, para hacer es que vamos a tomarles la, la temperatura a todos los estudiantes. Uh, si tienen sintom síntomas de lo que es el uh, COVID-19 y sabemos que eso se tiene que hacer regularmente. Okay, the next one wanted to know, will COVID, will sports activities be impacted by COVID-19? La pregunta es, ¿los deportes van a ser impactados por COVID-19? Again, the answer is we do not know. So we are a part of um, Georgia, what are we, GISA, David, Mr. O'Shea? Yeah, Georgia Independent Schools Association. Yeah. Um, and so that our league will determine that. That will be not a decision that we make. It will be a decision that's made for us if we have fall sports. Okay. And then the next oh, one. You've got to translate that. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to read like three different places. Uh, la respuesta fue que no sabemos. Uh, ahorita estamos, somos parte de... Uh, La escuelas la, asoción, la asociación de escuelas independientes de Georgia. Entonces, esa decisión no la vamos a tomar nosotros. Esa decisión la va, va a ser tomada por nosotros. Okay, and the next one was, will we do corporate work study uh, in consideration of COVID-19? Y la última es que si vamos a hacer corporate work study, um, Okay, a pesar de COVID-19. Mr. O'Shea, you've already really answered that, but you can try again. Uh, yes, we, we will. Um, we'll be working closely with the companies uh, and going off the, uh, going off the guidelines, the COVID-19 guidelines of our corporate partners. Um, as I mentioned previously, there'll be a, a number of different plans that we'll put together. Um, some of them may involve working remotely, um, but we'll be, we'll be, doing corporate work study to the best of our ability. So la respuesta es que sí, vamos a estar trabajando con las compañías. Uh, tenemos un, uh, varias, varios planes, um, pero sí, sí vamos a, a hacer corporate work study. So uh, I want to, at this time, thank everyone for uh, their participation. We've had a great response. We have over 137 parents and students on the call. 
Uh, we've received over 77 questions in the Q&A, so that's the reason I've been bouncing back and forth, in addition to the ones that have been typed into the chat. All of your questions are important. Some of them have already been answered. So what we're going to do is after this session, uh, the webinar is being recorded and will be made available to you to review again in case you uh, join late. We understand some people had to make it home and, and get things taken care of. Additionally, we will download all of the questions and we will make sure that everyone is answered uh, in a document that we will send out to you in both Spanish and English. Uh, a couple of the questions that I just want to touch on as we prepare to wrap up. Uh, many of you wanted to know what time the building opens. The building opens at 6 a.m. in the morning. So if you need to drop your student off, you're able to do that. Ms. Vivian, I'm sorry. It's okay. So, de nuevo, este, vamos a responderle todas sus preguntas. Van a estar en un documento que van a mandar por correo electrónico. También uh, una última pregunta fue, ¿a qué hora se abre el edificio y es a las seis de la mañana? And I want to add one thing if I can, Ms. Powers. I've just seen sure. a few questions that popped up. Um, there's been a number of them throughout. Please look at our website. Our website is, is robust and has lots of information on it. Um, there's also actually a link there to the parent handbook. So probably every one of your questions, it's long, but if you want to go through it, everything is in there. Um, and you can find a lot of the questions, um, your, your an the answers to a lot of your questions are in are on the website. And it's www.cristoreyatlanta.org. I also noticed on there, there was a question about uh, the corporate work study partners, the companies, they're also on the website too. Ms. Vivian? So, también um, se, sabemos que tener, tienen muchas preguntas, pero si quiere ir a nuestra página de web es www.cristoreyatlanta.org. Ahí van a ver, ahí sí se van a lo que es el student, student or parent handbook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, ahí van a encontrar muchas respuestas uh, de, para contestarle sus preguntas. También había otra pregunta que dónde pueden encontrar la lista de todas las compañías. También la pueden encontrar en lo que es nuestra página web. Uh, also, uh, just a couple of tying up on Lucian's, there were questions about breakfast and lunch. Each student receives free breakfast and free lunch every day. Uh, so that is not anything to be uh, worried about. Also regarding laptops, every incoming freshman receives a free new laptop. Uh, Ms. Vivian? También una pregunta sobre el lonche y el desayuno. Eso es completamente gratis para los estudiantes. También lo que es la computadora. Cada estudiante que ingresa al 9 grado se les da una computadora gratis. And I would just like to add one thing for lunch um, and breakfast. We do not let the students bring food from outside. They have to eat the food at the school. So we have different options always available for the students. If you are a vegetarian or you have any dietary needs, you just let the cafeteria people know at the very beginning and they will make sure that you have something that's appropriate for your uh, diet or your um, way of eating, you know, for lunch every day. Eh, los estudiantes en nuestra escuela, nosotros no permitimos que traigan uh, comida ni cosas de tomar de fuera. Eh, ellos tienen que comer la comida del colegio. Tenemos dos o tres opciones todos los días para que ellos puedan comer. Um, y también tenemos eh, si ellos eh, no comen carne o tienen alguna dieta especial que tienen que comer algo, ¿cierto? El, nada más que le dejan saber a la persona de la cafetería al principio del colegio y ellos uh, se aseguran que tengan algo para comer uh, todos los días. Again, I want to thank everyone, uh, especially to our panelists for participating tonight. Uh, in this virtual uh, orientation. It is very different for all of us and we're learning as we go. We want to thank each one of the parents and students for being on the call. Ms. Vivian. Queremos darles gracias um, a todas nuestras familias que, que atendieron esta sesión. 
como dice la, la señora Powers, estamos aprendiendo a cómo vamos. And again, uh, we invite you to reach out to us via email. Uh, we will be sharing uh, feedback on the questions and we will be making this webinar available to you. Again, we are excited about you being a part of the Crystal Ray family, and we can't wait to welcome you in person. So thank you to everyone, and everyone have a good night. Bye.